Hello everyone and happy Halloween. So today I have another more scary Halloween makeup look for you guys and it is this one you're looking at right now. I'm sorry about the kind of freaky beginning but I, I had to. I couldn't help myself. If you want to find out how I got myself to look all beat up, bruised, cut, everything like that, go ahead and stay tuned and let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I did is I just pinned my hair back and before I did any of the makeup I actually applied um, my eyebrows and then I just did a thin layer of foundation to my face. Now the thing we're going to start out with first is the black eye or the bruised eye and I'm using this L'Oreal eyeliner in prune and it's just a really deep purple kind of eyeliner and I'm just scribbling that in all over my eyelid just to give kind of a base for the makeup that we're going to be using. So I did that all over the top of my lid and then carried that down to the bottom of my lid as well. And then after I got a good enough coverage I just went in with just my finger and just kind of spread everything out and you know you get the point. The next thing I did is I just took a regular cosmetic makeup sponge and I cut little tiny holes in it so it's kind of textured like this. And I took this purple bruise makeup from Halloween City and on that textured sponge that we just cut up, I just am applying bruise makeup all over my eyelid and also bringing it down to the bottom part as well. And then just kind of dotting it in with my finger and then just continuing with the process. A black eye does not have to be perfect, so just kind of make it however you feel, you know, is right. And I just put purple all over the, like I said, the top, kind of bringing it up and bringing it down. So just kind of making it really just dark and purple and creepy. Then with this kind of dark green grease makeup I just went in with another little sponge and just kind of put that underneath my eye just to make it look a little bit more bruised and just more fresh I guess you could say so I just applied that to the bottom part and then I went back in with the purple and just kind of touched up areas on the top and on the bottom as well just to kind of give like that swollen effect to kind of add like a shadow you know what I mean then again, I went in with this deep red grease makeup and I applied that just underneath my waterline just to kind of give a more irritated and ugly looking effect because we want it to look, you know, really, you know, we want it to look like it hurt. So red is the best way to do that, just, you know, for irritation and things like that. Now for the cuts and scars. So for that, I am going to be using this kind of cheapy fake scar makeup which just looks like this. I just got it at Dollar General. It's really hard to work with. I would not recommend buying this but it worked for this makeup look and it's just this really thick kind of gummy texture and I use this to create a couple scars on my face. So first I'm just starting out with the one on my cheek and what I'm doing is I took a glob of that and applied that to my cheek and then very carefully with my fingers just kind of spread that out so it looks like it's on our skin like it's part of our skin. Once you got it all spread out to your liking, I just took the sharp end of tweezers and I just create kind of a little slit in between the fake scar that we applied so it kind of looks like it's being opened. Then I just took this fake blood, I just got this from Halloween City, and I just tapped that into the scar that we created so it looks like it's real and it's bleeding. You can go in with a Q-tip for any cleanup that you may need. And it should look something like this. So it's pretty realistic for, you know, a dollar product. So I'm happy with it. Now I'm just going through and adding a few more scars to my face. I only used um, this fake scar makeup only twice because it was just so difficult to work with. But I am again adding it to my nose, just spreading it out as best as I can and creating a little slit with the tweezers and then adding the blood to make it look real. Next I'm going to go in with some liquid latex. I got this for about $2 at Walmart and it works beautifully. So on a little just cosmetic sponge I took some liquid latex and just dabbed a little tiny circle area on my face and I just let that dry. Um, I applied it thick enough to where I wanted it and then I just let it dry.
The next thing I did is I went in with this little brush to create kind of a thicker middle part. You'll see why in a little bit. And then I also added a little bit on my chin as well just because I was having so much fun with liquid latex and I've never used it before so you guys are seeing a first time. After it has dried and has become tacky, I'm taking my tweezers and creating an opening in the liquid latex that we applied. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this. It kind of looks like an open gaping wound in your skin. To cover up the liquid latex, I'm just using any concealer. You can use whatever you want, but this one is by Makeup Forever. And I'm just dabbing that in all over the liquid latex that we applied. So it looks more like your skin color and not like liquid latex. Then I went back in with the fake blood on a Q-tip and I literally just dabbed the blood right in the center of the wound that we created with the liquid latex. Um, I would, just as a suggestion, I would keep the blood inside the wound as much as possible because once you start to go outside of the wound, it doesn't look as real, you know what I mean? So yeah, just keep it something like that and I did the exact same thing on the bottom. I just created a little bit of a texture just to make it look kind of creepy and did the same thing with the fake blood. And to make it even more gross, I went in with this bloody scab makeup and it's this really disgusting dark red gooey makeup. It's just so nauseating. And I just put that over top of the liquid latex and this stuff dries really hard so it kind of looks like a scab. And I just thought it went perfectly with this so I did the same for both the top wound and the wound on my chin as well. So we should start to look something like this now, kind of creepy. Next, I used a little bit of the extra fake scar and I wanted to add something to my lips just for, you know, just some, for something more creepy. So I just took some of the fake scar and I just put it over top of my lip to add some texture. And then I added some red and purple grease makeup just to make it look like my lip was, you know, punched at and it's just really bruised and irritated. So that is what I did there. The fake scar kind of makes it look a little bit swollen too. So I thought it worked well. Now for the other eye, I just wanted to do something really quick and natural, so I just used these three eyeshadows from my Sephora palette. All the products will be listed down in the description box, by the way. But I used the dark brown to apply that to my bottom part of my eyelid and moved to the top of my eyelid using the other two browns and just kind of buffed that in. Not doing anything perfect, I just wanted to have a little bit of eye makeup on the other eye so you can kind of see contrast, so I did that. Then I took this CoverGirl liquid eyeliner and I just applied a very, very thin line of eyeliner there. So that is what our face looks like. And to dry out and make our lips a little bit dehydrated is I took this really pale lipstick from Maybelline and I just rubbed that in on my lips and just rubbed it in so it really got in the cracks of my lips to make them look really dry and just really gross looking. And this lipstick did an excellent job of that. Next, I decided I needed at least one more scar, so I took the exact same steps as I did before with the liquid latex, and I just created just a random scar on the top of my head just for something, you know, cool and creepy. And I've never used liquid latex before, so this was also kind of a learning experience for me as well. Again, took the tweezers and made a little bit of a gap in between the liquid latex. Took my Makeup Forever concealer and concealed the white latex and then on a little tiny uh, brush that came with one of the makeup sets, I'm not really sure, and I just took some fake blood on that and rubbed it into the opening of the scar that I created. Then I added some blood on my mouth and on my teeth just for a dramatic effect and then I was all finished with the look. So here's what the finished look looks like. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was something totally different. I've never done anything like this before and I had so much fun filming it and making it for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to share, comment, subscribe. I hope you all have an awesome Halloween. Stay tuned for more Halloween looks, but until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.